It's Matt Safino joining us now, talking about some of the weather we've been seeing. Uh, th we're about to see some rain tomorrow. It's, it's a been nice bit. to go a day or two without any. Yeah, it has been great. Um, a nice warm day today, a little bit of rain in the morning, and then things will be improving as we go into tomorrow afternoon. But the big message will be the cold weather that we get this weekend. Pretty major cool down, certainly our coldest weather since last spring. Let's take you outside right now. There's a look at the Oregon coast from our camera at Cannon Beach. A beautiful shot as the sun's going down 63 degrees. At Canna Beach with light winds, a beautiful September day. We hit 73 today. It was about average for this time of the year, 75 in McMinnville. We were actually a little bit cooler than yesterday because we started cooler. It was a cooler morning, but look at this. Brookings hit 90. Now, often, frequently, when we get warm temperatures like that on the southern Oregon coast, it means we're about to see the heat low build up the rest of the coast. We're all going to warm up, including the valleys. But not this time. That's a one off that 90 down in Brookings as everybody will be cooling off a little bit tomorrow and then a lot more as we go into the weekend. 70 in Primeville today, 70 in Baker City, it was 72 in Salem and 77 in the Dow. So morning showers tomorrow, not a big deal. It'll actually clear off tomorrow afternoon. Should be a very pleasant afternoon and warm enough, but much colder this weekend and cascade snow is in the forecast. Now this first system moves on down from BC. It's not very strong, but it'll be followed by a stronger system that will be stronger and yet a stronger system still on Saturday. So see how fast those showers move out tomorrow. We end up with some sun. So tomorrow afternoon, in spite of some morning showers, looks great and we should be back up around 70 once again. Then on Friday, stronger showers, colder air moving in and that's the beginning of a pattern change. Then watch this. See the system has dropped straight on down from BC and really the Yukon sets up right over Oregon and Washington. So very cool fall weather. Friday, Saturday and Sunday especially and by Saturday night or so the snow level down between three and four thousand feet. Now I don't anticipate any sticking snow on the Oregon passes. The roads are just too warm and the snow level not quite low enough to really overcome that. But above say five thousand feet there will be substantial snow. We'll get some warmer weather around the middle of next week, but then another cool system may drop in after that. So it looks like the first part of uh, October is going to leave off for September. Uh, leaves off and pick up where September leaves off with cool weather. Now snowfall forecast. This is through the weekend and into next week. Nine inches Mount Batchelor, two or three around Mount Hood. Not uh, I mean, I, I that's very believable is what I'm trying to say here about seven inches down in Willamette Pass. Everybody getting some snow, but if you really like snow, you need to go to the northern Rockies and up around Glacier National Park. They may see two feet of snow from this system up that away. So that's where the core of the snow will be. We already have winter storm watches up for parts of that region here, as you can see highlighted in the pink. The other interesting weather story around the West today. So again, winter storm watches in effect beginning, uh, I believe on Friday and continuing into Sunday. See this? We've got red flag warnings for fire weather conditions down in the Big Valley of California. But notice down by San Francisco, right down there, we also have heat warnings going on. It was incredibly hot in the Bay Area. San Francisco hit 96 today. That's a new record. It was 99 in San Jose. Several records set across the Bay Area today. For us, though, we are just right in the sweet spot with that 72 and the freezing level at 14,800 feet. On the Oregon coast tomorrow, some showers early, but then just turning to some breaks in the afternoon. Highs will be in the 60s. In the valleys, we're also looking at morning showers tomorrow and then becoming sunny as we get up to about 70 degrees. But only 63 on Friday. Saturday only 60 and Sunday's high is only 58. Definitely cold by about 10 15 degrees below average for this time of the year. Then we see morning lows in the 30s. Portland 37, but parts of the valley will be colder and see their first frost on Monday and Tuesday morning. So get ready for the big chill, guys. What do you think, Laura? Are you ready for that? I think I'm ready. All October right. next week. There you go. Thank you, Matt.